so the turbine is running and connected to the main line let's see if it can power my house When I was a kid, about 13-14 year old, I found this pump lying around the house. When I open it and examine it, I figure out that it would also work as a turbine. So then I connect the pump to the tap and feed the water. And surprisingly, the turbine actually spins. At first, I think it would only create 5 or 6 volts. So I try to test the volt with my tongue. When I put the wires in my hand, it gives me a powerful shock of 220 volts. Thankfully, my mom was not there because he will beat my ass for doing this kind of shit experiment. So today, we are doing the same experiment and try to power my house with this pump. So I take the pump and feed water to it with the house pipe. Of course, the turbine does not run. So I open the cap and test the turbine again. There are two things that need to done to run this turbine. First, I have to cover these leaks. And second of all, I have to somehow directionize the water on the fin. So the water is directly fall on one side of the propeller and make it spin. So to do that, I use a cutting blade and cut a L shape from the blade. And then glue down the L shape on the turbine. So now the water will fall on one side of the propeller and make it spin so then i glue down the sides of the cap to overcome the water leakage now the turbine is completely leak proof so let's test it so as expected the turbine starts to spin i can also feel it with the vibration I connect a glue gun to the turbine and run the turbine and see if it can power this glue gun. And it just turned on the light off. I don't know why this LED is not blinking. Yes. Yes, it's blinking. And the glue gun is actually hitting itself by the turbine you can see using this cable I connect the turbine to the main line and then turn off all the breakers and see if it can power something Sometimes this turbine need a push start to start running. Now the turbine is connected to the main line. Let's see if it can power something. For some reason, the bulb does not turn on, but when I directly connect the bulb to the turbine, this is what happened. While editing, I realized my mistake. I turn off all the individual breaker instead of just turning off the main breaker, which eventually disconnect the turbine line from the main line. This is very surprising that this small generator can turn on this 220 volt bulb. You can also see that there is no external wires are connected. Anyway, this was a just a fun experiment. I personally don't think there is any major use case of this turbine. If you enjoy the video, make sure to leave the like and subscribe. And if you wanna support me financially, consider Patreon. The link is in description. When I open it and examine it. And it
this body that are by natural skills at the first i think it will sirf camera ki taraf dekh ke ko at the first i think it would only create 5 or 6 volt so i am trying so i think i would test the volt by a professional method in which we 